Lispy Jimmy makes fraudulent content with a whole GTA 6 with fake giveaways. The list goes on. I could be here for hours. I've been basically manipulating my fans into liking my video thinking there's going to be a big giveaway, but I kind of thought most of When you actually make a video that's not clickbait and that is related to you, you get like five views. Basically forcing kids to use them for support of creator and for fake giveaways. We're giving away a bunch of V-Box cards. Bro, I'm not even joking. This is the story of how gaining 6 million subscribers based solely off personality and hype is destined for failure over the long run. A story warning of the potential dangers in taking advantage of your young audience's naivety. The story of how building a career on deception and lies will always come back to haunt you. When you build your YouTube channel on sand as opposed to rock, it's only going to be so long before it all comes crumbling down. We're talking about the story of Lispy Jimmy, a longtime YouTube content creator who was at one point gaining millions and millions of views by essentially lying, deceiving, and clickbaiting his audience in every single video. Fake giveaways, fake game updates, predatory titles. His behavior led him to gain sometimes up to 300,000 subscribers per month in the short run. However, over the the long run, it's been revealed to all that being ingenuine with your audience ends up coming with somewhat of an expensive price tag. What motivated Lispy Jimmy to go from a once respected content creator to what many consider to be the worst clickbaiter in YouTube's history? Was it worth the short-term spike in subscribers? What was the long-term price that he ended up paying for taking advantage of his young audience's naivety? This is the story of Lispy Jimmy's downfall. Lispy Jimmy would begin his journey as a YouTube content creator all the way back in October 2012. And in the beginning, there was little that indicated that this creator might end up as one of YouTube's most notorious villains. He was simply posting gaming videos on both Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty. What is going on everybody? Lispy Jimmy here and in today's video guys, I got a call. The growth of Jimmy's channel was slow in the beginning, but he would begin to gain low-level popularity after uploading guide-style videos for the games he was playing. What is going on, everybody? Lispy Jimmy here. Welcome back, and in today's video, guys, I have an awesome trick and tip for you on basically how to steal a tank. Which also led to a provision of respect from the early audience watching his content. After gaining 5,000 subscribers in his first 12 months, Jimmy seemed to make the realization that if he ramped up the overly enticing titles and thumbnails, the videos would appeal to a wider audience. Get Master Prestige in one day, amazing glitch. When you collect that briefcase, it tells you to do something or a challenge. Lispy Jimmy never did show his audience how to get Prestige Master in one day or the amazing glitch, it was fake. But considering the nature of the platform back in 2013, this video performed extremely well. And along with other videos promoting insane money glitches in GTA 5, Lispy Jimmy would go from 5,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers within the space of only two months. Now, while this was awesome for his channel, what it did for Lispy Jimmy himself was a little more insidious. It began to reinforce the idea that the most effective way to grow his audience was to make the most outrageous clickbaity titles possible regardless of the content within. GTA 5 online millions in minutes. You guys can make insane amount of money super fast and easy, no problems. This clickbaity video having significantly more views than the many surrounding it, reinforcing that using clickbait was the most successful strategy for making his channel thrive. For this reason, the clickbait nature of Jimmy's channel would slowly get more and more severe. GTA 5 online ghost caught on camera. GTA 5 online money glitch scam warning. These are um, scams. It's like one basic guy or another guy. Lispy Jimmy got very skilled at identifying the fine line between unbelievable clickbait and an extremely enticing title that people would click on. And for this reason, his viewership and subscribers would continue to increase. And while a lot of this growth was owed to a reasonable provision of clickbait and the old, let's go for this video, 10,000 likes boosting his videos in the algorithm, we have to also give credit to his incredible work ethic, pumping videos out almost daily, inevitably leading to higher viewership. By October 2015, two years after creating his first video, Lispy Jimmy had passed the 500,000 subscriber mark. And from all outside accounts, it seems as though there was little standing in the way of Jimmy continuing to grow, except one thing, the decline in the popularity of the game he was playing. GTA 5 is f dead. Nobody plays it anymore unless you're 11. And it's the only game you could have 
can afford. So basically, all these channels are, are starving for views. As 2016 rolled around, GTA 5 was pushing four years of age and ultimately experiencing a decline in popularity. This led GTA 5 YouTubers to consider two different options. They could either continue to make videos on GTA 5, which appeared to be on its way out over the long run, or alternatively jump ship to a new content style. Lispy Jimmy would ultimately choose the latter. And after clickbaiting a potential face reveal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, he would reveal his face. Dude, they're never gonna know that I'm Lispy Jimmy. And begin making a mix of both IRL and GTA content. However, there was a problem with this. Since most people knew him for his GTA videos, his IRL content didn't get many views. And while this was a problem in the short run, Lispy Jimmy certainly had a solution that worked in the past. Pump up the clickbait. YouTube is deleting my channel, please watch. Kid gets arrested playing GTA, you won't believe what happens. Court girlfriend cheating in the act, you won't believe what happens. Clickbait had become far less acceptable by 2016, but it was still a time at which pranks in the hood gone wrong were still a norm on YouTube, and therefore Jimmy's clickbait would be beneficial, and his channel would grow past 2 million subscribers. Thank you guys for 2 million subscribers. We just did a live reaction, you guys saw my reaction, it was awesome. And while once again it seemed as though Jimmy's channel was going to continue growing forever, there was a new obstacle that would present itself, leading to a slowdown in his growth. The inevitable changing of the YouTube landscape. As the cancerous nature of YouTube in 2016 and 2017 began to establish itself as the new normal, the platform began to see an explosion of channels created for the sole purpose of discussing and therefore criticizing other creators. And for the first time ever, Lispy Jimmy began to get put under the YouTube microscope for his insane levels of inauthenticity. Recently, though, he started making these videos that are 100% misleading and 100% false. Then he made a fake video pertaining to quit YouTube. Like, dude, you're a f***ing scumbag. No one in the community likes you aside from your retarded fanboys. He actually got to the point of ripping off old Police Chase videos and uploading it to his channel for his own personal gain. This guy is probably the worst clickbaiter I've ever seen. And trust me, I have seen some bad clickbait. Do not tell me this video is not trying to get you to click on it so he can get the ad revenue. That's exactly what this and tons of other videos on his channel is, right? However, these videos wouldn't do much to discredit Lispy Jimmy. He'd become so skilled at manipulating the YouTube algorithm that his content simply prevailed over the opinions of the YouTube community at large. For this reason, Lispy Jimmy would go on to post further clickbait such as why YouTube is deleting my channel and deleting this video in 48 hours, YouTube sent me this. And while both of these videos perform quite well, the YouTube landscape was continually evolving and as time progressed, the strength of Lispy Jimmy's clickbait would become less and less enticing to his audience. By late 2017, after hitting 4 million subscribers, his channel would experience an extended growth plateau, and it seemed like Lispy Jimmy's time in the sun might be coming to an end. But Lispy Jimmy would come to find a savior for his dying channel. And it wasn't a religious deity, it wasn't a friend or even another YouTuber. The savior for his channel turned out to be a game released in September 2017 by the name of Fortnite Battle Royale. Luckily, we got a brand new update in Fortnite, which is lit. There's this new sniper mode bunch of The cartoon-like family-friendly nature of Fortnite meant it instantly appealed to a younger audience. And with a younger audience being incredibly naive by default, much of the general content produced for Fortnite would be exaggerated with clickbait attempting to gain viewership from this young naive audience. It's just fear-mongering to make children afraid and click on his video because they think their beloved Fortnite's about to go offline for a few minutes. Lispy Jimmy, aka the clickbait master, certainly saw an opportunity here. But this time, Jimmy made a realization. You could get even more views by completely lying about what was happening in your videos or stream. New Thanos update out now. New Fortnite skins free. Free skins update. New refund system is here. Refund skins for V-Bucks in Fortnite. The worst part was none of these updates were even in the game yet. And the titles in which he would blatantly lie about the content were always the ones where he would get the most views. And as mentioned earlier, the increased viewership from lying about the content reinforced to Lispy Jimmy that it was the correct behavior for growing his channel. Lispy Jimmy's channel would then become an absolute wasteland of live streams titled as fake updates with the sole purpose of suckering in unsuspecting little kids. But that was only on the outside. When you actually went in to watch these live streams, there was a whole new level of cancer to behold within. Let's take an example so we can really understand the full scope of what was happening. Fortnite Cube Volcano Event happening soon, Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, just to begin, like all of his other videos, the Fortnite Cube Volcano Event wasn't actually happening at that time. It had just been teased on Reddit, YouTube, and Twitter, so the goal was to spark FOMO, get people to 
people to think it was happening earlier than expected and ultimately clicked through to his live stream. And once the viewers got through, there was absolutely nothing of value being offered to the audience. The goal was hype, engagement, and watch time. Like the stream, make sure you're subscribed. I shared the stream with a friend. Thank you, Colin. More importantly, guys, I need you to like right now and comment liked. I need to see some likes. Alex liked, Gucci liked, Alpha liked, Storm liked. Guys, you need to like the stream right now. And if you think this was just a small part of the stream, you're wrong. This is literally all he said throughout the whole four hour stream. As I count down from five on zero, everyone liked the stream. All you need to do to win some free V-Bucks is like the stream, subscribe, and comment done when you guys are done. Stop what you're doing, stop, all right? and leave a like on the video. Like the stream right now and make sure you're subscribed. Platinum, thank you for liking the stream, my guy. Noah, thank you for liking the stream. Legend, thank you for liking the stream. Yeah, um, and Nicholas, all you need- On top of this, Lispy Jimmy would put a countdown timer for the event that was never actually happening to make it seem like the event was gonna occur at the end of the countdown to keep people watching. But since the whole thing was just a huge lie, as soon as the timer hit zero, it would just reset back to a new time that Lispy Jimmy would arbitrarily decide on. 14 minute hype, let's go. Timer is on the clock now. The problem with these streams as a whole was that the people who were watching and subscribing weren't doing so for some unique long-term anchored entertainment that Jimmy was providing. They were watching for the V-Buck giveaways, the hype, and the apparent new game updates that were never really ever going to come. This meant that the huge fan base he was building up around his Fortnite streams were never gonna stick around should his uploads slow down or if his content style was to change. An important element for later parts of the video. And when I say huge fan base, I mean huge fan base. Between June 2018, when Lispy Jimmy would begin to post his Fortnite clickbait, and June 2019, only a year later, he would go from 4.5 million subscribers to 6.3 million subscribers, a gain of almost 2 million. And while reaching 6.3 million subscribers based extensively on lies and deception was in some backwards kind of way an impressive feat, it would also be in June 2019 that everything done in his past would come back to haunt him, and the Lispy Jimmy empire would begin to come crashing down. In January 2020, Lispy Jimmy would post a video titled Meet My Daughter, in which he would explain that nine months previously, around April 2019, at the age of 23, he had become a father. I'm a father, 23 years old by the way, 23, how you doing? How you guys doing out there? And while the opportunity to raise a baby was extremely exciting for Jimmy's life in general, it would begin to change his life in ways that were far from beneficial for his YouTube channel. I, I am under stress every single day. I don't even think I have time really to do any streams or do any, any Fortnite, anything really. Jimmy explained that since having a child, the amount of time he had to invest into the channel had dropped dramatically, and this began to show in the content he was producing. Jimmy would go from doing multi-hour clickbaity type live streams to posting one minute videos of what was in the item shop. Now this is the item shop for today. Don't think it's anything pretty special. We do have a new skin though. Since there really wasn't much demand for seeing what was in the item shop and people could sense that there really wasn't any effort going into the content anymore, his audience would not only stop watching the videos, but also begin to rapidly unsubscribe. After gaining 430,000 subscribers in April and May 2019 through his classic clickbait strategy, June 2019 would be a different story. He would lose 15,000 subscribers, then another 50,000 in the three months following, totaling a loss of 65,000 subscribers in the four months following his change in content. But why would his followers unsubscribe so quickly? With most content creators, they just stagnate. What was different about Lispy Jimmy? Well, it comes back to the fact that a vast quantity of his subscribers were subscribed purely for the hype and giveaways. So as soon as the hype and giveaways were replaced with boring two minute videos about what was in the item shop, unsubscribing was the only logical thing to do. Upon seeing a loss in his fan base, Jimmy attempted to return to his former strategy of clickbaiting kids with fake titles such as how to get the Travis Scott skin in Fortnite. New Fortnite nuke event happening now. New Renegade Raider in Fortnite. But by 2019, his audience had become a little more sophisticated and the YouTube algorithm had changed to filter out clickbait garbage and reward genuine creators with a returning audience. It's also likely that after a year of clickbaiting his audience over and over and over again, most people who are fans of the Fortnite genre on YouTube began to recognize Lispy Jimmy's name and would stop clicking on the videos because they simply knew it was a load of garbage. All of this was combined with the fact that Fortnite 
United simply declined in popularity since its peak, an element that was totally out of Jimmy's control, but would certainly add to the declining interest for his channel's content. By the time mid-2020 had rolled around, Lispy Jimmy had lost 150,000 subscribers from his peak. The quality and effort put into the content had declined further, and his views had ultimately dropped dramatically once again. New gifting Lachlan skin now, 12,000 views. New Fortnite NFL skins out now, 19,000 views. Even a PS5 giveaway was only gaining Lispy Jimmy 29,000 views. Leave a like right now. If if you want a PlayStation 5. Lispy Jimmy's clickbait had lost almost all of its power by late 2020 as his audience became more sophisticated, and in October of the same year, he would gain only 480,000 views, equivalent to only 15,000 views per day on a channel with more than 6 million subscribers. On the 1st of January 2021, Lispy Jimmy would post a video titled Goodbye, including a thumbnail displaying Lispy Jimmy with defeated body language, indicating that he might potentially be done with YouTube. However, this would once again be clickbait. With the video actually being an extremely cliched goodbye to 2020 for being such a horrible year. This year has been such a crappy year for so many people. It's time to just throw it out, dude. I am going to try my hardest in 2021 to be the best I can be. The state of Lispy Jimmy's channel seems best summed up by this comment on the video. Honestly, seems like kind of nice guy in some parts, but he's still one of the clickbaiting GTA YouTubers, so his channel will die soon. More recently, Lispy Jimmy's views have dropped even further to around 5,000 per day on average, and the content has become nothing but spending 30 seconds explaining the item shop. It looks like they added Shogun back to the item shop, also Jawblade. Then one minute of advertising a sponsor. If you've never tried Bang before, I'm telling you right now, there is so many flavors that you could choose from. And some garbage about how there might be a skin coming to the item shop at some point in the future. So Travis Scott will be making its way this week. The comments on his videos have degenerated into nothing besides your subs are dead and you never gave me my reward, showing that all of his supposed giveaways from the past might have been total bogus, a possibility considering everything else on his channel is completely fake and exaggerated for no other reason than to gain viewership. What was the real cause of death for the Lispy Jimmy YouTube channel? Well, honestly, it seemed like somewhat of a perfect storm. Lispy Jimmy had less time to create content owing to becoming a father, mixed with a declining reputation for his predatory clickbait practices, mixed with a changing YouTube landscape punishing clickbait and rewarding authenticity, mixed with declining popularity for the game he was playing and streaming at the time. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what was the most influential trigger, but they certainly all seemed to play into one another, ultimately resulting in the death of Lispy Jimmy channel.